opening question for the coach. Uh, coach, um, it's obviously been a, a big one. Uh, it's a big one coming up pre-season uh, uh, cup um, and the um, Italian cup this weekend. How are the preparations going? And and what do you expect? Um, or what, rather, what are your expectations um, come Saturday? Uh, first of all, I will use the opportunity to express uh, our team pleasure, honor, and privilege. Uh, pleasure, honor, and privilege to come in front of you. We feel that you, as our football family, you media, we feel we missed to we see here um, some of uh, veterans and dear people that we have not seen each other for the last two months. Time has passed, actions and activities have taken place. We have started the pre-season to three phases in, uh, here in Johannesburg, uh, in Rastenek second phase and third phase in Cape Town. We came back and this is the week that we are using as a bridge towards uh, competitive season that has five uh, major competition we are involved. We have a right to think beyond Saturday. We would like to say that is a special cup ahead of us, Cali Cup. Uh, special in a way that uh, personally have been worldwide, but I have never seen that spiritual owners of the game, supporters are choosing players that they will play. And that puts a uh, weight of expectation and that puts uh, our obligation to give our the best uh, to those that they have voted, to those that they will be present, to those that they will watch, that uh, we give our the best and practically we put the stamp on the play season and we enter with good um, amount of confidence into the upcoming competitive season where we have the highest ambition in every single competition we shall enter in. Uh, I would just say uh, supporters have spoken with their voting, uh, teams are ready, uh, we are just awaiting. It is, as our chairman says, a time when countries stand still during that match, fully aware what is at stake, we are uh, fully uh, theoretically aware about our present stay and our opponent. We are fully aware, uh, mentally, we believe enough strong that we enter in the season in very strong note. Uh, we believe that we have reached a level of physical fitness, uh, technical effectiveness, and tactical competitiveness. And there is no better way than testing yourself as against respected rivals, Kaiser Chiefs, uh, where small details are making you uh, succeeding or failing. We want to do everything to be on the side of succeeding, uh, having in mind that uh, this cup has not been played last year and is for me, Coach Ulani and some of us, that we have arrived after uh, first time I'm really excited and looking for a totally focused together that we really have the pass this bridge towards competitive season uh, by playing very well, getting performance, getting result, and winning the coming cup. Well, Captain, happy um, uh, Hashtag Coming Cup, cup has uh, announced uh, game changes. Um, <coughs> Um, that are available to the supporters. Um, one of those is um, selecting the captain. Um, how do you feel um, about the possibility of you not being the captain um, on, on, on Saturday? Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, I'll start by saying uh, it's nice to, to be part of That and uh, as players, you know, we appreciate every moment that uh, the supporters do. So by selecting me on the full and play, it's a good thing. And uh, for me, uh, to be part of uh, the team, 
it's important. But uh, to choose the leader uh, is, is their choice. But all I know is uh, it's a team effort. On the day, it's about the team. So it's not about the individual. So whoever that uh, they think uh, that uh, is the best captain of the day, I will support because I'm the captain of the team. So I support everyone. And uh, yeah, I think uh, all the players that they're going to be chosen on the day are going to deliver for the supporters. And uh, Justice Shamanana, um, you have been selected into the starting 11 uh, that was announced uh, last night. Um, so um, just uh, what are your thoughts on uh, getting that validation from the supporters and them wanting to see you uh, play for Soldier W, hashtag Talent Cup Soldier W. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not good in English, but I'll try my best. So uh, I'd like to thank uh, you guys, supporters, Things out without playing, but uh, you believe in me, and uh, I can make it. Or uh, so I can support the corner a competition there, Kalin Cup. So thank you very much, and thank you very much again. I don't know what I can I say, but uh, it's, uh, it's like it's, it made it for me and <coughs> to to be long without playing, but. Uh, Need to put me to, to believe in me that I can make it or I can do it my best, like you said. Thank you very much. It's all now, Sam. Um, fortune, um, first time, uh, first as formerly in front of everyone, welcome to the club. Um, and just tell, tell us uh, what the pre what the preseason camp has been like for you so far. How, it, how have you found um, being part of the squad, being part of the team? And um, there's a strong possibility that you might be um, one of the substitutes on, on Saturday and get an opportunity uh, to debut for the club, not only just debut, but debut in the current Cup. So to tell, tell us your thoughts on all of that. <laughs> well, for me, it's been a very great experience. I think coming into the team, the team is really welcome me. Very well with warm hands. Uh, I'm at home. I don't feel like I don't feel at home, but I'm actually at home. So they've actually uh, welcomed me very well together with the other new players. So for me, uh, coming into this team, I would actually like to especially thank the supporters. As this calling cup is about the supporters, I'd like to thank the supporters because as soon as they announced me, the positive. Uh, response that they gave me, it actually made me feel like a uh, Bacani, the one Bacani that I've always wanted to be. Mm. So, and even having attended the two preceding camps, it's really been well for me. And I'm hoping that uh, I'll actually get a chance to, to make my debut against the rivals because, you know, it's, it's never a friendly. So I'm hoping whether it's the supporters or it's the coach's choice to Looking forward to it. Thank you. Uh, we will now open for questions. As I mentioned earlier, please by a show of hands um, and please wait for me to direct you. Thank you. By a show of hands, identify yourself as well as the, the media company you represent. Um, I think just one house cleaning thing I forgot to mention. And so far, everyone has been good, but I hope that your cell phones are either on silent mode or on flight mode if they are front here. Thank you. We shall now open for questions. Uh, Mark Strait on East Coast Excel. Um, Coach, maybe you can get straight to the point. Um, <laughs> the last two seasons, runners up to Sundowns, just looking at the coming season, um, and those two seasons, maybe two seasons ago, 15% that you needed, maybe last season, 10% to close the gap. Um, especially last season, you had everything, the technical staff, the players, the good signings. This season, you've got the same, the technical staff, good signings, players. Where is that 10% going to come from that you just needed? Uh, first of all, with all due respect to you and to your question and to something what will be very interesting to the public, our minds are not going beyond the 90 minutes uh, and 
game in this Kage Cup, uh, and I would uh, restrict myself in that area. But as I told, uh, said like there is no life after we are focusing on this because all of us before being in respective positions, uh, coach, players, uh, anyone in the club, uh, is genuine in within inside supporter of the club. And as a supporter, really feel privileged that uh, entering at FMB and hearing that uh, sound of the crowd, sound of the uh, supporters <coughs> coming, is something that ejects you and stretch you over all human and sport limits in order to make the stamp in this match and open the season in the best way. And uh, this is a perfect situation as to enter and to look for those 10% that you are looking about. But uh, it will be a very tough competitive season that goes uh, through five major competitions that we shall use. Uh, be uh, involved and uh, we do not think beyond this match but we believe that this match would set the standard that is supposed to be kept in 50 plus matches that we are planning and looking to play that will give us that margin to surpass and reach to where our supporters expect us to be. from ENCA to uh, Kempton and uh, Chawalala. I mean, the fact that you are voted by the fans, how important is it that on the day you live up to their expectations and, and sort of like not disappoint them on the day? Like, how important is it that uh, you, you perform for the, for the fans? Yeah, firstly, like I said, you, you have to appreciate them. That's why they support they, they, they voted for you, you know, because of the things that you've done in the, in the previous season. So for us, we, we need to keep working hard and uh, do what we expected on the day, you know, so that we can deliver for them. Because without them, we are nothing. So we want their support in each and every game. Yeah, for me, I think uh, the time I had that supporters, they voted for me. Because it's been long without playing, you know. So, but uh, I say to them, thank you very much. And uh, wish me so I deserve it. Like uh, they told me. So, yeah. I like to say again, thank you very much. Uh, I don't know what can I say. Like, uh, I love you guys. It's a pleasure and justice uh, loves the fans. And they love you, fans, just as chat. Um, just your thoughts on uh, the quality of, of the signings that have been made this season. Um, nine players in. Um, I'm sure it brings a big headache. I mean, so many players as well hoping to break into the team. Uh, you've seen them in pre-season. Can you just tell them, tell us a bit about their qualities and, and what you see them bringing to the club? And then just secondly, this is your first uh, Carling Black Label Cup. Uh, you get to see what the fans think of the team and how they want to see the team play. Um, what do you make of the team that the fans have selected? Uh, first of all, as a club that has above us uh, 80 plus years of history, millions of supporters, leader that has proven himself with achieving everything what a sport administrator could achieve, and a club with a vision and strategy that uh, does everything with pre-planning, with uh, deep anal analyzing where we are in with shortcomings to improve, whatever we have done well to keep it up and upgrade. And as a search after two competitive season, we have uh, done the deep analysis and in deep analysis we have recognized in that mosaic that we have uh, provided in the last two years, there are some uh, missing puzzles. We believe that uh, those nine players are exactly puzzles that will help us that our, our mosaic is the best football picture that our supporters are dreaming about. 
that that puzzle uh, is bringing exactly players on position that mm -hmm. will uh, not necessarily just walk in the team but increase the uh, competition because the strongest feeling uh, is feeling for the coach that on every position you have two to three players of coverage and at any given time you could use them having in mind that matches are coming. We are expecting to have uh, seven to eight matches depending on the outcomes in the month of August and when you have that in mind it is unfair to put a lot on uh, shoulders of just some players. It is an uh, aspect that you keep but there is an uh, smart uh, strategy of possibly rotating and when you have that in mind it will not be headache it will uh, uh, be important that no matter uh, who is present or absent his, pres uh, uh, his absence will not be felt because immediately there are players that could jump in so players pushing each other uh, competing for the places and uh, looking to, to earn and deserve the places in the team is something what we were looking for and we believe that this will increase and lift and reach the way Mark told those 10% that we are needing. This is one more addition to uh, those 10% that we have been missed but in the same moment you need to know uh, that we need to prove on the field of play that uh, players we have brought are uh, the ones that they have been missed we have accommodated them, as told by Fortune. Uh, we feel, uh, uh, yes, by time we have them uh, short amount of time. But when you're looking at everything, we have sense, same like we are having them for years. And that feeling of uh, not having uh, so-called uh, long-term players, and like Happy is here over 13 years, and players that they have just arrived, it is an unity, it is an togetherness, it is an all the attributes that one team representing millions of supporters and 80 plus years of history, we believe that we are having a present. And the lineup? Regarding the lineup, I would just say uh, you need to have the highest degree of respect. Uh, view of supporters is uh, for them, they are going with their uh, personal affinities, personal sympathies and we absolutely respect that, but in the same moment, picture that uh, is from outside, a picture that is inside, that we are on daily basis with, uh, could possibly be different. However, with the highest degree of respect, we need to look at our supporters and their choice. Uh, there is, when you look at, uh, maybe you could put some question marks whether balance has been found between defending and attacking because in match of this magnitude you really need to take care of every single segment and moment of the game but uh, it is something what need to push a uh, number of attacking players that we are having in their fight in the team to have a balance with the rest of the team so that team has a perfect balance of performing uh, looking to score goal more and uh, to concede goal less. Sports. Quick one question. Um, Coach David came here before you and Rondo. How much of his influence was it for you guys to come over with Orlando Pirates and uh, um, to, to the coach? It, just a quick one. Kaiser Chiefs does not have a left back and the holding midfielder. That gave Hans Mirendorf some headache yesterday when he spoke about it. Is it something you're looking at um, exploiting in Bobo? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, to answer your question, I think Coach Patlu is part of Orlando Pirates. So with Coach Patlu's uh, um, arrival here, he, he did influence us, but then I, we, you, we need to take into consideration the fact that it was Orlando Pirates that wanted fortune. So coming into Orlando Pirates, Coach Patu is part of Orlando Pirates. So his 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 uh, contribution was as good as everyone else that was already in the team. So if I, I don't know if I'm answering your question. Yeah. 
Then it's perfectly answer for you. <laughs> possibly, possibly we have not enough time to uh, elaborate all that. Uh, uh, in the last two years, uh, we have never been uh, uh, the people looking for ex be excuse makers or blame shifters or, or having always fault finding uh, mission and whatever. I would like to say that uh, we know each other very well. We know capacity of coach Ernst Middendorf, that they have the highest degree of respect together with our technical team. Uh, Fabio was his assistant. Mm -hmm. Rolani has very good relations, best of us. Uh, also, Sean Bartlett. We are colleagues that we are on the day this uh, particular match directly in confrontation. And we know what is capable. So thinking about absence of the left full back, absence of holding me the fielder, it does not play at all, having in mind that, uh, as you could see, that they are having there uh, enough balance of uh, defensive midfielders, uh, the def defenders, uh, midfielders and attackers, same is on your side. A football game is game today where there is no end clear designation. Everyone needs to defend, everyone needs to attack, and to play two-way traffic football when we defend and when we attack to attack, and uh, we shall not look at that aspect despite uh, as a people uh, looking into, uh, into the issues of attention to the deepest details. Uh, we know that we shall uh, look to expose their weaknesses and close their strengths that we know and they know on our side. We shall try to express our strengths and to hide somewhere uh, in those few moments, moment, especially in transitions, our, our possible weaknesses uh, in set pieces in, uh, and looking forward that that's those small details that are making you uh, make or break are uh, this time on our side because this is exactly where our focus is and it's not focus whether they are having left foot back, having defensive middle, we do not play in that space. A question is to the coach. Um, coach, obviously you've been asked about the, the signings. There's, there's about nine, I think. But I think most of us know of, of the eight, but the French goalkeeper, not so much. Can you just tell us what what value he, he, he brings uh, to the team? Obviously, what, what is it that you didn't already have the last two seasons that, you, that you've been here? And maybe if he can also just Give, give, give us his thoughts on, on the, new, the new goalkeeper as well. And coach, I know you're not, you're not a doctor, but uh, what does the medical report say about uh, Freddie and Kuzo? I obviously he's been officially pulled out when he was initially in the starting lineup picked by the players. Okay, coach, before you answer, and happy. Um, let's not have three questions and longer, please. Have, have I missed a chance to speak? You actually asked three questions. I was paying attention, so minimum two questions, everybody. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the keeper is, is very good. Uh, it brought something in the team, you know, from uh, we started the preseason. He's been doing great, you know. So, yeah, we, we're hoping that he's going to get used to the team very well and uh, to, to play daily. One day, so yeah, it's up to the coaches which player needs to to play on the day. But he's, he's been doing well. He's a good good, good keeper, uh, goalkeeper. He's a goalkeeper, good goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> Think about the goalkeeper coach. <laughs> he's been doing great, the goalkeeper. Yeah. From my side, I will start upside down by telling you two precautionary measures we needed. job that has been traditional. 
tremendously done by uh, our goalkeeping coach of last year, Angelos Pax, uh, that has gone to English Premier League, and uh, this is sent for not for PSL, that uh, coach from PSL goes direct to the Premier, the English Premier League, it's something that in a way is honor for all of us, and we really <coughs> wish him all the best in his future endeavors and challenges. Uh, regarding Joris Deve, uh, when you look at his CV, it talks volume about him. But talking about him when you are bringing him in, in front of yourself, you can see him through, the, through the, his past, you know, being a uh, part of a uh, golden generation of, of, of French football that has uh, last year won the World Cup uh, in the youth categories. Later on, his road led him to different direction, and now challenge coming to Africa is something that I, I have sense that when you uh, divide world football, there is world football and there is African football. For me personally, after 20 years, 19, 20 years in African football, I can openly tell you an element of adapting, adjusting, and acclimatizing is needed. Uh, first platform that took happen is that we have a goalkeeper that has tremendous background from the LADVC uh, where he has seen the highest level of competition from where, for example, surprise package Ajax Amsterdam uh, came in Champions League with UEFA. And this is one part, and that is platform. Second platform that goes above that is his human qualities. We believe that we brought for goalkeeping, a very good uh, boy that uh, every single morning we are greeting each other in, in my language, uh, that is different than French and whatever. He, he had so many players from my country in his long-term career and in a way, and I, the way I see how he interacts with the rest of our players, he has really come on our side in an accommodative group of good people that are representing big brand called Orlando Pirates. We have accommodated him, but even himself is accommodated because when you come as a foreigner, you are bringing your heart, country in your heart, what you know in your head, but under the skin he need to become more South African than South Africans. This is a formula that is universal if you really want to come in an environment and respectfully to be part of that environment. And this is exactly what we are looking for Joris Dele to give a full contribution to us in the season that is about to start. Three answers for you, Mr. Be happy. Mina Kishela from Newsroom Africa. <coughs> Guys, not familiar with it, 2405 DSTV. We need advertising <laughs> for new channels as well. Thank you. Coach, um, you talk about the five competitions. Just quickly, how much now is that part of your, as a technical team, rotation? The discussion between, amongst yourselves, is the technical team rotation for the season or as part of your preparations or part of your planning rotation? How much of it is that? And just to hear people to the likes of Justice, what have you guys shared with them just about Pirates? Um, and uh, you know, walking to their first derby, what what are some of the sentiments that you've shared with them? That if some of the new players, oh. just in terms of pirates all together, and specifically what to expect from the derby. Yeah, to the new guys, uh, I've already spoke with them in the preseason camps. You know, tell them about the history of the team. You know, and uh, how it's important to play a derby. And uh, yeah, they understood. And uh, the only thing that is important on a day, you have to impress yourself, show the people that why Orlando Pirate brought you, and uh, enjoy your game. That's all I can say. And I've, I've been spoken to them. Uh, they know, so there's nothing more that I can say to them. Well, what, I, what I can say, uh, there are three scenarios in Orlando Pirates for every match. You win, very normal. You draw, question marks. You uh, do not win, 
huge question marks in the revolution. Having <laughs> <laughs> uh, in mind that every single match, the 50 plus matches that we expect to play this season, is uh, a must win situation. But uh, we would like to say that when we speak about rotation, that I'm really lucky for not prison and privilege, that I'm surrounded with a set of experts, do not mention their name in order to not miss anyone, that we shall uh, take in consideration all technical football uh, coaching aspect, uh, fitness aspect, medical aspect, and other related issues that will help us that uh, uh, undoubted quality that we are having inside our players and talent of theirs, we are really uh, putting them to be servants and soldiers of Orlando Pirates and they are giving the best possible service in every match that comes across us in order to fulfill mission and ambition that is always in every single match the highest. We take the final three questions, starting with two short and then come up to any others. I'm also from the other side, from the UK. Um, no expectations on Saturday, but more importantly, can this game be you know, provided indication as to what we should expect from Pirates in the new season? Uh, and we've been here before, I think the last five seasons, uh, pre-season, pre-season uh, where you uh, preparing for the season, playing the big level cup. In other places in matches, um, what can you expect from Paris this season, which is different from what has been happening in the last five seasons? Where the cup is in the Can you repeat the question? I don't uh, understand wait, what you're saying. Maybe actually, I was about to, can you keep it just short and simple? I lost you in pre season and preparing no. and kind of can you just focus on what you want to ask, please? I'm sorry. I'll repeat. Um, you've been here before, pre season, preparing for the season, playing the big level cup. What is it that we're going to do differently this season by us to change the fortunes of the club to win in the new season? And the game on Saturday, can it be an indication of what to expect, what the fans should expect from the club this season? Um, I'll start by saying uh, we're preparing for the new season, so this club is good at is going to determine ourselves how how we are in terms of pre-season or how we're looking for the new season and uh, yeah it's to show again the, the supporters how we appreciate them to win it the trophy and uh, and you know the new guys that are coming can uh, uh, taste the winning mentality you know, because uh, this previous uh, season we've, we've been doing well, but uh, there's no silverware. So I think this one is going to be a start for the team. Coach, Van Dijk from Football Conversations. Coach. Since this game, you're not going to be particularly involved with the technical aspect of the game. Uh, second half, there's a huge chance that the Kaza Chiefs fan might vote for your compatriot, uh, Samir. I just want to find out what's your take on saving strikers, considering the fact that you've once coached the national team, and any advice you've given to the central pairing, JAP and Justice? Uh, first of all, you need to know that I did not have a chance to meet him personally, and I uh, I need to tell you that I, I'm last 19 years out of the country, but I know that Partizan Belgrade is, after Ajax Amsterdam, the most fruitful, successful uh, youth program on this planet, and having in mind players that are having the top five leagues in Europe, and he's coming from such a and program that I know they are my colleagues as he's been vice president for coaching organization in my country at that time before coming to Africa. And uh, I can tell you that he comes from a very strong background. However, his life did not lead him like his colleagues from his generation to the top leagues of Europe. He has gone to Slovakia. Uh, life brought him this side, 
and I could say uh, in advice to my colleagues that he's coming from a very good background, unpredictability, uh, imagination, uh, decision making even before the ball come. Uh, and when that is in, in, in uh, question, when you have and such a player against yourself, but even before him coming, there are three top class players that are starting. Uh, Renan Parker, with whom also I speak my language because he played in Red Star Belgrade. Uh, Kama Biliat and, and, and uh, Lazarus Cambole, uh, simply we need uh, always to be step ahead, to have a perfect communication, to have a perfect positioning to defend and support to defend, and we need to have a uh, timing in acting in the right moment, in the right place, doing the right things. And having in mind that we are having here a walking legend of Orlando Pirates, when someone is over 200 matches with uh, his experience plus a big heart of gentlemen from Giangi, I believe that we are having a set of two players in central defense that, that could be rock granite defense that could help us to keep the clean sheet on Saturday. Uh, before we hand over the final question, just a reminder to the fans, you can uh, vote for your um, half-time substitution or substitution of the 55th minute um, of the match at the Culling Cup uh, at uh, Culling Black Ring, uh, at, at Culling, sorry, at Culling <laughs> Sorry, um, and, um, and we'll take the final question from the gentleman over there. Um, from Soviet <coughs> Magazine Online. Uh, happy, uh, Culling Black Label Cup offers very well and now he is honored, he's given a chance to come and coach. How does it feel with a, a, a coach that has got no technical possibly uh, experience to come and coach you? And coach, when are you going to have time uh, like to really teach the, the new coach the technical uh, aspect of the game and also uh, in a short space of time like we are having about 72 hours from now. Thank you. I think uh, for, for the new coaches, <laughs> I'll call it that way. It's a great experience for them. You know, it's, it's going to show them how we work, you know, how difficult it is when you're in the field of play. You know, it's easy to talk when you understand. But when you're there on the field, it's very really difficult, you know. So it's going to share that experience with some other people and tell them what's happening on the field. Because uh, sometimes the way they talk, it's not the way that we play on the field. So it's a very really different thing. So I think it's a great experience to to share the dressing room with the new coach, you know. And uh, as well, he needs to learn how difficult it is to play football. Uh, this cup... Uh, gives an opportunity to have uh, millions of coaches that are through voting deciding who we play and this gives a specific weight and special obligation to us to give out the best in order to give respect to those that we need for football is played for supporters and we want to give out the best in order to satisfy uh, uh, their ambitions to satisfy uh, to turn their dreams into reality and as a such, we should do all the best that dreams of our supporters are becoming reality. Talking about the new coach, representative of supporters, mm -hmm. and our colleague for the same match, the Cali Cup, uh, uh, we would just say that in time for moments when we are getting uh, him joining the technical team, we shall have an, um, the most accommodative uh, short coaching course that will uh, assist and help uh, in a way for him to feel and as an ambassador and representative of our supporters uh, that we really fulfill the mission of giving football to supporters generally. Yeah, I just have a closing question for coach and captain. 
um, which um, one of the game changes is that the man of the match is chosen by the fans. Uh, we've heard um, in the past seasons, uh, the team coach has always asked, who chose the man of the match? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, I mean, just from a player's perspective right here, as well as from a coaching perspective, just your thoughts on the fans being given this game changer as well to be able to um, decide who the man of the match is. It's a tough one, eh? For the supporters, because uh, the person that they like also is going to get the man of the match. So, <laughs> it's going to be a tough one. But, uh, you know, this kind of label is for them. You know, whoever they chose, it's good. You know, it shows that the player that uh, they're going to choose on the day is going to be appreciated. You know, so, yeah, I think uh, it's good. Uh, from my side, I would just tell, when you have a present 90 plus thousand scans, uh, and when you have millions uh, outside that are watching and, and voting, Simply, I always like to tell to players, football is not a bush you can't hide. So, and inside <laughs> our team, competition, who will contribute and give more? Who will uh, put more sweat uh, into the jersey with more effort? Will 100% uh, he will catch the eyes of supporter and will be the match. So that inside competition of us competing to give more, will bring us that we are uh, out fighting, out running, and the most important, out playing our opponents. So uh, that is the main factor. I know we cannot hide where everything is seen. And yes, it will go by the sympathies, but in the same moment, uh, everything is so transparent and seen. So let us see whom they will choose. Thank you, Nagar. We come to the conclusion of our press conference. Uh, we'll just do a quick setup.